And what do we mean by third worldable? Is always that magical question. Uh, it has to run on shit hardware. <laughs> <laughs> Norm, I'm not sure if this is already said in Bodega Nights or, or other podcasts, but Norm already said it best. Like, oh, uh, like when he watches some videos, like. Or, or some like reviews, like yeah, uh, it's it's now cheap to buy external hard drives. They're only around a hundred dollars nowadays. <laughs> like a hundred dollars <laughs> cheap? That's one month's salary. <laughs> That's half a month's salary. So <laughs> yeah. Uh. So you know the ratio, not the ratio exchange rate is still really difficult and tough. It's the uh, what, what's it? Um, yeah, I, I keep on. I keep on mentioning this in all of our shows. Um, the percentage that it takes out of your monthly salary or your annual salary. <laughs> like, that's it, man. <laughs> that's, that's the struggle. The struggle is there. Trust the struggle. Yeah. So it has to be that. Like, for me, it has to be easily understood by someone who has little or no literacy as well. Yeah. Not just has to work on shit hardware, but someone who has no idea or has little idea of reading and writing, if they could use a good distro. Mm. That's too much, I guess. That's an extreme example of being third-worldable. But say if I hand this to a kid in a public school who hasn't even been connected to the internet, and I hand him a keyboard and a mouse, or my netbook right now, and then he looks at DuckDuckGo and searches for, what is your most favorite thing ever? He says, I like watching basketball. Google's uh, basketball and sees all the wealth of information and then from then customizes his distro, his netbook into a basketball theme Linux. So <laughs> yeah, basketball Linux. For me that's that's it. That's that's the magic of computing that Linux can do. Because again it's free and open source. I mean I'm not saying other OSs can't do that, but you know, you have to pay. Yeah. So you know. Basketball Linux. Oh, Okay, so it's uh, any basketball games for Linux, not... Um, <laughs> I was wishing it was uh, Linux basketball distro. <laughs> Anything else you want to add with uh, it has to be third-worldable? Mm, no, I really like how you put it, though. I really liked how you put it. Like, you know, mm. give it to a kid in the province. Like, give it a kid in a public school, you know. I've never seen the internet. And because of that, he's gonna love the internet. He's gonna love computing. Not necessarily the internet. But he's gonna love computing. Yeah. Now, this machine just made my life easier. Yeah. This machine made my life better. Yeah. That is to be, like, it has to be third roundable. Hmm. And the, the beautiful thing about it is, it's not fixed. It means that if it makes your life better, it depends. If you're, is there, a, if you're an engineer, uh, Hannah Montana Distro, is not third world double to you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're we're expanding the term third world double to mean usable. Uh, anyway, yeah, just overall usability. I think that's how I want to define it. The overall usability of it is it a complete package? 